the car. Typographical error. I was shocked that I made it. Thank you, thank you. Wait. My auntie! What's up? She's over there. Let me see you in the phone. Is your girl around? Yes! He's around. He's, he's inside. Ah, ah, madame. Ah, ah. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. It's still the Corey number one album breakfast show. And we have the beautiful, amazing, fantastic, phenomenal, elegant, vibrant, sophisticated uh -uh. Debbie Rice. Wow. That's what I Hey, hey, hey. Wow. All right. <laughs> so, this is the now and then segment on the core. What we do is uh, we take it back, like years back, a hundred years, a thousand years back, to the topic. Right. Um, celebrity marriages, right? We really don't know much about how. Who are your favorite old time, old school couple? There were celebrities actually. They could be in Nigeria, they could be international. Well, who were they? Uh, did you say like a thousand years back? Yeah, like, well, if you have one like a thousand I years back. Ah, uh, they were not celebs, man. Stop it. What? They were not celebs. Do you know how rich that guy was? It was rich at the point. Like, the king at the time I don't know was, what you... was crushing on Sarah. Come on, I don't know what you're talking and, about. And the guy actually allowed Sarah. Okay, to... let's let's leave it around with Sarah to just rest in peace. Okay. <laughs> let's talk about okay, let's talk about a while, like maybe years, uh, fifty years ago. Who are those people you always look up to like, oh, these celebs are fantastic as couples. It could be international, it could be Nigerian. Uh, For me, yeah. I'll say um, Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. Alright, so I don't know who you pick. Who's your pick? Nobody in mind. Okay. Alright, it's fine. It's, it's, I mean, it's your choice. But let's talk about celebrity marriages right now. They, they, we, we hear about how beautiful it is. They spend yeah. a lot of money. Mm. It looks so... It makes you actually want to get married. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it comes down. It crashes. It goes down the drain. Do you think this was actually the story back then? Do you actually think they had the same vibe back then? Or it's just because of our invent of social media and you know a lot of ages like uh, this is a this is a jet age. So what do you actually what do you actually think is the reason behind all this? Okay, first of all, how many celebrities how many celebrities marriages do we have moment? At the moment, well we count we could count a few. We have uh, the likes of Joker Silva and Olu Jacobs, we have the likes of um, Stephanie Linus. We have the likes uh, of. Um, when you say celebrity marriages, you mean two celebrities getting married? It could. A yeah, a celebrity married. married. Yeah, getting married. It could be two celebrity marriages. Okay. Or it could be a celebrity getting married. Do you okay. understand? Okay. Yeah. Because um, I know that. I, I thought you were talking about like Adesu and Banky, that kind of process and thing. Do you understand? I think it's Chris Atto. Yeah, two of them, two yeah. people that I know. And for me, though, I don't think. I, oh, man. I think that social media sometimes does a lot of harm and havoc. For marriages? To everything. Mm, well, let's talk about it has, marriages. Right it, has, yeah, it has its advantages and then its disadvantages. Right. And what do you think about people that put up their marriages on social media, celebrities? Oh, I'm doing my wedding in Dubai right now. I'm doing my wedding in America. What do you actually think about it? I don't think there's anything wrong. Honestly. Debbie because, Rice. No, no, let's be honest. Let Debbie me, Rice. Decade Rice. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> See, what I think is, you know, dead. Like 1999, yeah. there needs to be plastic rubber. Yeah. Put your picture on yeah. the rubber and share it. It's because we did not have social media, we didn't have something to take around. Right. Whenever you're getting mar mm. married, or whenever you're in love, mm. it's actually very exciting. True you want that. everybody to know what you're true. feeling. Very true. So it's not, it's not because um, it's, social media is just a better way to express who's, how exciting who's your, who's your favorite celebrity couple in Nigeria right now? Right now, I, I really love Osas. God, I love how. Osas and Benga, right? Yes. Osas, right? What do you? Why do you like them? I, 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 think, I think they're just beautiful together. Okay. I love, I love, I love the way they work. Right. And, and, and how they love each other. 
All right, beautiful. This is the Now and Then segment. We're going another short one. It's teeny weeny. You know when you just want to like go in and come back? That's what we're doing. Keep it locked. Steal the core. This is the core. All right, guys. Did you know that Debbie Rice is a Taekwondo fighter? Yeah. All right. <laughs> it's the versus segment on the MCMWCW segment, all right? That's um, what we do right here. It's another okay. segment. You tell me your woman crush and your man crush, right? Okay. So who's that person, that woman you want to crush, that woman you're crushing on as a person, as a brand? Um, Alicia Keys. Oh, that's beautiful. Because she plays the guitar and the piano? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, um, she's, very, she's very musical. And then I love her voice. Right. Her voice is not exactly sharp. It's cracked. It's cracked. She has, she has the strength, this emotion. Would you like to meet her someday? I would love to. What would you do if you met her someday? What would, you, what would be that first thing? Oh my god, would you faint? Um, I'd probably just... You know you're a star now, so you meet meeting Alicia Keys, that's another star. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you still going to be star strong? I forget that I'm a star. I don't, know, yeah. I don't even know if I'm a star. It's you who say Excuse but, you. But <laughs> you have a rise nation. Rise nation! <laughs> right. I would, I would, I would probably just... I don't know, I'm starstruck. Alright, so we got Alicia Keys, uh, WCW. What about your man crush? Or the man you want to crush? The uh, man you're crushing on right now? Do I, know, do, I, do I know the answer to that? No, you don't. Okay. Do you guys know the answer to that? <laughs> no, no. Alright, who was the man crush? Um, let me see. I'd say. Let me think. Who's the man crush? Nah, you just have to. Don't be careful. Don't okay. be too careful. Okay. Else you say the wrong thing. Bows. Man, man crush. Okay, why is Faust the man crush? I just like him. Oh uh, yeah. I don't even know why. I just like him. Have you guys met after the house? No, no, we haven't. But yeah, we spoke once, mm -hmm. and he's just amazing. Is it? Like he's so much fun. Okay, but if I was to do like a Faust ambassador, who would you pick? Uh, it depends on the context. Mm. All right, because of that, guys, we're jumping to the versus segment right now. So we're gonna place two people okay. um, together. So we're placing Fowls or placing Bassy. Why are you doing this? Nothing. Why are you? We're doing We're not doing this? anything. We're both doing this together. What do you and mean? the Rise Nation. Then pick for what? Pick your favorite. Who are you, who are you gonna accept? Who are you gonna throw out? So you're gonna say, you know what? I'm going with you. I don't want to have anything to do with you. Fowls uh, or Bassy. The thing is, this is a skill right now. Uh, Basi and I, our lives are already intertwined, whether we like it or not. They're already intertwined. Yes, I mean, I mean, honestly, we've been we were um, in the same space for days. Does it matter? And the psychologist said something. She said, yeah. "Someone you know, two, four, seven, right. eight weeks is like someone you've known for four years." Okay, I can relate with that. So I would pick fouls. You pick fouls. Yes, because Basi and I are already. It doesn't matter because when you, when you spend another eight weeks with Files, then there's more chemistry. Who knows? Files might just be the person to nominate him for possible addiction. But Bassett did not. Uh, I'm trying to pull that. <laughs> what did you say? I don't get it. <laughs> but it's all good. I have a question though, Debbie Rice. Okay. Apart from you, I know you, I know you have a lot of stuff um, going on musically right now. So, um, but one question off the top of my head. If yeah. You were given this contract to post nude for an international magazine, and the Rises Nation actually in support of it. Would you do it for a whole lot of money? Would you do it? Mm -hmm. No, I would. Think about it again. No, for really. Guys, we're, we're saying we're I could saying. I have done things to try to. As in, I could have been too desperate to try to win to the but I wasn't. I was just myself. The, okay, well, what I'm saying right now is picture yourself. The Rises, you're a brand, right? They say, Debbie Rice, we want you to do this because you're beautiful, you feel like you have a great body. We want you to be on this magazine internationally. And you tell the Rice Nation, I'm like, yes, please do it. Would you do it? And I'm supposed to pose nude. Pose nude? No, I won't. You won't do that. No, I have other things I can bring you. For your apart fans? From, apart from posing nude. Your fans tell you No, the do. fans that love me would love what I can do. And who I am. All right. Not what I am. Alright, you've heard the lady, quite intelligent, quite diplomatic at the same time, but it's all good, it's all good, it's all good. I give you a round of applause for that. Debbie Rice, Debbie Rice, whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, everybody. Nah, it's Debbie Rice. <laughs> anyway, we have the beautiful, this is your baby right now. Yes. I, I talked about your boyfriend, is this your boyfriend? No, it's a girl. It's a girl? Yeah. 
Are you? What? There is no what are you trying to say? We're friends. You guys are friends. Yeah, we're cool. We're just cool. Because she's a lady. And you're I, a lady, so you yes. have to be careful. I want her to know that um, my man, my real man, will always come first. But then she's a friend. Of course. And yeah. she's not a half. She's not a. Um, uh, how do you say? She, she shouldn't be jealous. Uh, yeah, she, she's, she's, she's not. She, she's she not, can't not, bring any issues between you and her man. All right. Yeah, she so she's, she's definitely listening right now. She wants you to play her. Yay. She wants you to, like, give her some strings with your fingers. I don't even know what to say right Just now. Just sing something. Sing something great. Um, something beautiful. That rises nation. That's, that's something. We didn't. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay, let me see. Mm. Um, you rock my space. I want to see you every day. Your voice is like a booster. My heart belongs to you forever. Whenever this love is blind, you open my eyes. Get out of my man. I will never say goodbye. Ooh, ooh. You got me for life. Don't be like I go do my best. Like saying I'm my last. You're my one, my only. I can never leave you lonely. Baby, baby, boo. What did I go do? I'm in love with you. I promise to be true, so baby, please don't do me, honey, honey. Oh my goodness, no way! Oh, oh, too much sauce, too much sauce. <laughs> so this is the part where you freestyle, what do you think? What about freestyle? You go freestyle, though. Oh my goodness, Rise Nation is a matter of freestyle. Yo, 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 yo. Let's go. I got Debbie Rice, she's rocking my space. Do me some cunny cunny, no disgrace. Oh. Man, I full of I did full of grace. From grass to grace. <laughs> oh I killed it! Oh no way! Oh, great! Great! That, oh she's your friend. She's she's a very great friend. She likes to she likes to always uh, <laughs> But it's great, it's marvelous. Yeah, it's Guys, did you enjoy that? That was phenomenal, that was beautiful. A round of applause for wherever you are right now for Debbie Rice, she's so fantastic. Thank you so much. It's one thing to hear your voice on the screen, it's one thing, another thing to hear your voice in person. Thank you so much. Ah! Fire! Really? Yes! High five to that, high five to that. High five to so that. that. Debbie Rice has been so fun, Thank it's been you so, so great having you here. Um, any last words for you, for the Rice stations and for um, people I looking would, up to you? I would say know. that um, whatever you do, I'll put God first yeah. and you go all the way. Right. And I would also say that if you can think it, if the thoughts can cross your mind, then mm. you can actually achieve it. I just, I thought I had what it, what it takes to be on TV and to inspire and I'm on your screen right now. That's, that's it. So you know, anything you want to do, you want to own your car company, you want to be a boss, you want to have a fashion line, you want to sing, you want to dance. If thoughts can cross your mind, you can actually do it. That's beautiful. That's just beautiful. A lot of ah, greatness. You can own your whatever you want to do. I could do whatever it is I want I to do. I have twins. I, I mean, I can have twins. Four boys, four girls. Seriously? <laughs> this, is, this is the time I get to kick you off my set. <laughs> Debbie Rice! Thank Normally, you. what we do is like we kick a guest off the set. We kick them. That's why I wear boots. So okay. I can always have the ability to do that. So okay. just, um, Don't forget I do Taekwondo. So I might just be the one kicking you. Forget it. Because I fact, because of the fact that you were coming, I had to go do some. Forget about my suit. I take it off. Have you heard about the Apollo kicking? <laughs> okay, I don't want to know that. <laughs> Debbie Rice, thank you so much for coming thank through. You so much. Thank you for so much for coming through. Shout out to you guys. Beautiful. So you have to. What? No. Debbie Rice. What? Can you please take a lovey? Is the car. This is very hot by the way, so one, two, three.
them. Hmm. You have the all brand realized and we bring everything to your table to keep you glued to your devices. So guys, in another episode of Feed Farm Kitchen, just keep, you know, don't go nowhere. Just keep it locked. Bye guys. Alright guys, we've come to the end of the interview. It was so lit, so interesting, so much fun hanging out with Debbie Rice. You saw what happened, I saw what happened. Um, I want to know your feedbacks on what she got on the Magnet Game Show and how well she passed the cookie jar segment. And it was fun. I like her personality. I like her nature. She's so um, fun spirited, so subtle. So you know, my name is Debbie Rice. I can't hurt a fly. I don't take, I don't, I don't use the toilet kind of stuff. It's so beautiful, guys. I'm sure you enjoyed yourself. And to watch this episode, uh, you just log on to www.deliverlive.com and also our social media platforms at um, official Delivery Live on Instagram, Delivery Live on Twitter and Facebook. And follow me up on Instagram and Twitter on Instagram at Dakel underscore Osh and Twitter Dakel Osh twelve. And we are good to go. Till next time, we'll come your way and we come strong and hard. Keep it to seal the core. This is the core.